the spotlight. I'm Karen Polka, and I'll be speaking with Kanchen Wankedi. Today's show is sponsored by Blue Water Developmental Housing. Welcome, Kanchen, to Spotlight. Thank you, Karen. So nice to see you. <laughs> it's great to see you too. And so many different things that you are a part of, but you are an entrepreneur by heart. And so you help entrepreneurs. What, what do you do? So I've started and evolved from a, you know, a long story, not long story, but actually long story short is <laughs> I started with my own business as an HR um, consultant, worked with companies around here. And that got me into something called um, Blue Water Startups and Entrepreneurs. You were part of it as well, you know, the whole journey. And that, I started li liking that, uh, that job a, a lot. It was a volunteer service where, you know, you helped the entrepreneurs, the startups, something that you would want to have when you started your, uh, you know, your journey. And that kind of got me into this full-time job with uh, managing the underground. Uh, so now I am the director for entrepreneur services at the underground, which is the only incubator for the whole of Region 9, which covers St. Clair County, uh, Huron, okay. um, uh, your uh, Tuscola, okay. Genesee, Siwashi, and all of these counties. So it's a, it's a big region. Big region. Um, but I'm the only one person, so we work with a lot of collaboration and partnerships to serve startups and entrepreneurs. Well, that is really an interesting piece to our county as well as the region. But you didn't come here, you, you didn't grow up here. What's a little bit about you and, and coming here to St. Clair County? I know that's another story of for a long story, <laughs> but yeah, uh, of course the the thing that got me here was that my husband was from here. Okay. Um, I mean, that time we were single, and so kind of I met him with the, on a you know, matrimonial website. I was in India; he was here. He also belongs to India, and then we kind of I came here, you know, just to see how the place is, what it is, and all that, and just fell in love with the place, with the person, with the family. And I moved here in 2014, okay. uh, left everything that I you know, grew up with, came here, started from a scratch, um, and that's what actually got me here. But now looking back, nine years, I feel like I was always here. <laughs> right, it does feel like you've I always belong, been here. I, I feel so much that I belong to this place. I think the community has been so good and you know, opening their arms and uh, you know, just taking me in, in their fold. <laughs> and it's, it was exciting to be a part of your journey to, to become a U.S. citizen as well. Correct, yes, That's that was right. another exciting journey as yes. well. It was emotional as well and exciting, you know, uh, but yes, I am a U.S. citizen now. <laughs> it's wonderful. So you want to help other people. That's what I think you, some of your traits are, is that you want to help other entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. educate them. What are some things that the underground can participate and help people with? So uh, the underground is actually the, the incubator. So okay. incubator is mm -hmm. basically, hey, come with, a, with an idea, mm -hmm. incubate it, give it, you know, that, that, the nurturance, mm -hmm. the education, the training, the, the, the guidance, the coaching mm -hmm. for, from your idea till the launch. Okay. That idea to the launch for some ideas, it could be a year. Okay. For some, it could be two, it could be four, it could be five. Our gestation period, we would ask a business and an owner or an you know, a, a inventor that give that much time for your idea, give that much time for your business to grow. Okay. It doesn't happen overnight, it doesn't happen one night. And they need somebody mm -hmm. to handhold them in that mm -hmm. process. Sure. They need somebody to fall back and say, hey, I'm, I'm good with this, I'm not good with this, I'm not confident, I like my, I, I can do my job, I can do as, I can sell my product, but I can't, uh, you know, or I can manufacture, but I can't sell it, I can't finance it, I can't do this. So we have at every stage of the business growth, we have support systems in the, eco, in the whole ecosystem, we have support. Okay. So it's not just me, so I'm the entry level, I okay. kind of, I'm the one point contact, but I in turn have a whole plethora of people that can help this one individual. And many people actually don't know about that service. Mm -hmm. uh, the misunderstanding is, you know, you want grants go to underground. 
Mm. You want, uh, you know, some help, like, you know, basically financial help. But financial help comes much, much later. Right. Validating your idea is much more important. Mm -hmm. You know, so I see so many businesses that launch in a haste. And then within few months, within a few years, they are like scratching their head saying why it's not working. Okay. And my job or all the whole ecosystem's job is to validate that idea. And sometimes we say, you know, you better take a U-turn now. Oh, right. Before you know, the investment before of time and money. Before the investment of time and money, mm -hmm. because I don't see mm -hmm. where the customers who, mm -hmm. who are you going to sell to? Mm -hmm. You know, friends and families always say, great job, do it, go ahead, and all they that stuff. Do. <laughs> <laughs> so I always say, who told you this? If it's your friends and family, great. They are, they are there to tell you that, right? <laughs> but who's going to pay the money to buy your exactly. product? Go and talk to them. So mm -hmm. the ratio, and many people don't know, is actually 100 customers to one product means okay. interview maximum 100 people, but I've kind of brought that down to 30. I said, please interview 30 people, and, okay. and they should not be your friends and family. Yes. Get, and get that feedback, and then we'll go from there. Yes. So does, does this, if someone has an idea, mm -hmm. they come to you, is there, do I have to sign up as a member? Does it cost me money just because I have an idea? How does that work? So there are two uh, streams here. Um, the SBDC does the same thing that we do. Mm -hmm. So SBDC are the business consultants. They do everything for free. Uh, and when I say everything, the meetings are free, the coaching is free, they do training and all that. We do that as well. Uh, but what we do is we connect them to other resources, we connect them to funds. We are, we are hand-holding them, so they become a member of the incubator. Okay. Uh, minimum is one year, sometimes it's six months depending upon where they are on this. So we assess, we assess where they are mm -hmm. and then we put them in a program. Mm -hmm. We feel that they need that once in 15 days coaching from us. So okay. it is a binding for them to come back, to have those meetings mm -hmm. set up in advance for the next six months that they will come. And so we have milestones planned that yes. tell us where. So we move. In those 15 days, the, the individual and I work together okay. to achieve that. Okay. And in that, sometimes it's not me, sometimes it's somebody from MEDC, sometimes it's from SVDC, sometimes it's MWF, sometimes it is so many acronyms. <laughs> so there story, so, but, yeah. There's an alphabet. But yeah. we, we, we set and we design that roadmap right on the first meeting itself. Okay. And that's free of cost. Okay. Now, the other things are paid, but actually they get the grant to pay that. Okay. So it's hardly paying from their pocket. They're actually getting a grant. So there's, therefore, we have the Emerge Fund. We have the Seed Fund. There's so many more other grants coming up in the future. You'll hear about it. So these are the grants to support them in a certain time. We also have a, we've had cases where we planned the milestone. They said they're going to do this. They didn't do that. They didn't do it for the next milestone. They didn't do it for the next six months. And we said, OK, I think you need to return the money back. OK. And we've got right. the money back because okay. That money could have gone to somebody else right, right. who was like really working hard and knows clearly what they want to do. So we have done that as well. So how do they get a hold of you so that if they have this idea to see if this is a, a direction they need to go? So the easiest way to go to contact me is go to the underground website. Okay. Uh, my contact number is there. My email is there. Everything is there. And I get calls at least one or two every day. <laughs> okay. Because uh, everyone has ideas and, yes. and, and we really want to encourage the viewers, if you have an idea and you think you can start a business and, and your mom, dad told you you should do this because you have the best pie in the whole uh, state, yeah. come and talk to you, see if it's feasible okay. and yeah. to move forward because yeah. entrepreneurs are really the, the lifeblood of our community. Absolutely. And you very well pointed out that everybody has an idea. Mm -hmm. And we encourage those ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, we encourage those ideas. We do not negate any idea that comes. But it has to go through that incubation, yes. right? Yes. Every new thing needs a incubation, mm -hmm. um, you know. The, the, the nature has never made any shortcuts. For example, the time to, uh, you know, have a baby is still nine months. Mm -hmm. You can't cut short that. Yes. <laughs> right. Because every month has a significance yes. to build that. Similarly, an idea also has to go through that evolution yes. um, of coming to a stage where somebody will say, I want that product. Yes. I'm willing to pay this much for that product. Yes. And then you launch it not the other way around. <laughs> well, what a great service we have in the county for the whole region. And thank you so much for sharing today. And I encourage all of our viewers to reach out. Yeah, the underground. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you for joining us on Spotlight.